Hi, Steve here from TechGrove. In today's video, we're tackling a common issue, the FRP lock on Android devices. This lock can stop you from using your phone if it requires the previous owner's information. I once helped a buddy who got stuck with a secondhand phone because of this. We'll explore several ways to remove the FRP lock, and these methods work on any Android, no matter the brand or country. Let's jump in and get your device up and running again. This information is for those who legitimately own their device and need to unlock FRP. We do not support illegal actions like bypassing security on stolen devices. Follow the law and respect others' rights. Our video complies with YouTube's guidelines. Let's get started. Type in safeunlocks.com, go to services, and select the FRP unlock option. Start the unlocking process by entering your name and email address. Ensure this information is correct and accessible, as you will receive all the unlocking information at that email address. Next, select the device you want to unlock by entering the brand of the device. Enter your IMEI number and accept the terms and conditions of the unlocking. To find the IMEI of your FRP locked device, check the back of the phone. For some phone models, the IMEI number is printed on a label on the back of the phone or under the battery if the battery is removable. Another place to check is the SIM card tray, where the IMEI number might be printed. Once you verify all the information, click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order, and you should receive an email with the unlocking information. Follow the steps shown to activate your order. Watching the tutorial video is recommended to understand how to do it. After completing the activation process, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the Membership Identification box and activate your order. Make sure your device is turned off before doing so. Lastly, you will receive a new email confirming that the unlocking process has been completed successfully. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to know that the unlocking services mostly work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or don't want to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for users who watch our videos. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe and comment on your Android phone model, your IMEI and your country you will be automatically enrolled once you complete these steps. This way, you can participate easily and get a chance to unlock your device. There are several ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. One method is to contact the previous owner and ask them to remove their Google account from the device. If you purchase the phone from a legitimate source, such as a retailer or a trusted seller, they may have the original receipt or proof of purchase that can help you unlock the device. You can also use online unlocking services that are reputable and compliant with legal standards. These services usually require you to provide your device's IMEI number and other relevant information. Always ensure that the service you choose has positive reviews and is known for its legitimacy. Using the manufacturer's support channels is another viable method. Many phone manufacturers offer support services that can guide you through the process of unlocking your device. Contact their customer support and explain your situation. They may provide a solution or direct you to an authorized service center. By following these ethical and legal methods, you can ensure that the FRP lock is removed from your device in a responsible manner. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if everything worked for you or if you have any questions.